for today's video, we will be discussing all about X-ray imaging system under radiation physics. So the first component of the X-ray imaging system is the X-ray tube. This component is typically not seen by the radiologic technologies for the fact that it is encapsulated inside the protective housing, the one responsible for reducing the level of leakage radiation, as well as protecting the radiologic technologies and the patient from the risk of electric fusion. The X-ray tube is the one responsible for producing electrons from the filament through the process of thermionic emission and is directed and bombarded towards the target of the anode causing the kinetic energy possessed by the electrons to be converted into heat and electromagnetic energy. For the second component, we have the operating console, most commonly known as the control console. This component allows the radiologic technologies to provide an input on the X-ray tube current and voltage. Current is the one that determines the quantity while the voltage is the one that determines the quality of the X-ray beam. If you have ever watched my video regarding radiographic positioning, it has been stated there that MAS determines the qual quantity while KVP determines the quality of the X-ray photons, right? So, properly manipulating these factors on the control console is necessary in order to produce an acceptable radiographic image quality. And lastly, we have the high voltage generator, the one responsible for increasing the voltage output from the auto transformer necessary for X-ray production. If we will look inside the high voltage generator, we can see to it that it has three main components and they are the high voltage transformer, filament transformer, and the diode rectifier. The high voltage transformer and filament transformer are the one responsible for increasing the voltage output, while the rectifier is the one responsible for ensuring that the voltage that will be supplied to the X-ray tube will only travel in one direction. So what do you mean by that? According to the law of physics, voltage naturally travels in a sinusoidal fashion. Taking into consideration on what has been stated, it travels in a sinusoidal fashion. That is, voltage from neutral position will go towards the utmost peak of the positive cycle, return to its neutral position and will traverse towards the bottom uh, most peak of the negative cycle and will return on its neutral position and the cycle will repeat. Hence, they earn their name alternating current. That is the inherent characteristic of current and voltage. The only problem is, the X-ray tube is not designed to receive such alternating current because it can destroy the whole tube itself. I will not explain the reason because it's kinda complex and it is already beyond the scope of this short discussion. And that is where the rectifier will jump in. As stated earlier, Rectifier is one of the components of the high voltage generator. So before the high voltage generator will transmit the electricity towards the X-ray tube, it must first need to undergo some sort of trans uh, transformation so that the voltage traversing from positive to negative cycle will only be traversing on the positive cycle. 